this is so ironic because last night I talked about how I'm feeling very spiritual and compassionate and grateful um, as of now, and maybe I'll cater uh, the rest of the vlogs this week to that. This is pretty much going to be the f***ing opposite of that. <laughs> Trying to sprint on the bike to class. I was up this morning dealing with shipping out orders for t-shirts that you guys are buying and I don't want to be late. Class just ended. Um, so my buddies Kip and Keegan, the creators of Cowspiracy, were on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast the other day. It's one of the biggest podcasts on iTunes, super popular. His YouTube channel also has half a million subs. And in the intro or outro to that episode that I listened with the Cowspiracy guys, he said he was having Mark Sisson on the podcast next week. If you don't know who that is, look him up. He's a big high fat paleo jerk. Now I am all about free speech and the media is an amazing thing with the internet and podcasting. You can just put anything you want out there. But if you are doing that to sell bullshit products that are gonna kill people and kill animals and destroy the environment in the process, I'm not okay with that. We have massive issues in the world and when there's people putting their energy and attention and getting on mainstream podcasts to spread messages that are completely crazy i'm gonna call that out and say it needs to stop so just listen to this is there any like nutritional benefit to being a vegan or is there d uh, deficits you know it's involved it's, in it um i think that's probably some foods that you're not getting that would provide uh micronutrients that micronutrition that would be beneficial to you in the long run what micronutrition is in a high fat animal based diet that you're not going to get in a vegan diet you dumb so if you're choosing to be vegan and that's what you want to do and, and you're mindful about it um, and you're not militant about it and not trying to convince everybody else that that's what they ought to do, then, then go for it. Well, that doesn't exist. Yeah. There's so few people. That's, that's <laughs> it's the, almost a requirement. That's the unicorn fart. A requirement of membership. Yeah. Um, hmm. Few plants that do have a full, complete amino acid profile, right? Like quinoa is one of them. Yeah, I mean, there's great plants. I don't know. So I wouldn't dumb. say they have a full amino acid profile. It's what's lacking. Well, there's probably. If they... Really? Are you going to tell Tori Washington that, or Jahina Malik, or Robert Cheek? What the f are you talking about? Uh, again, a, a humanely raised uh, cow that was uh, not given antibiotics or hormones. So grass fed butter is a great choice. And what is the difference in the profile? The. <laughs> Do you just not believe in science? Do you not read science? Are you pulling this out of your What's going on? Shaky science and a mission by the global dairy industry to boost sales. They interviewed an academic insider who noted that some researchers are intent on showing saturated fat does not cause heart disease. In 2008, the global dairy industry held a meeting where they decided that one of their main priorities was to neutralize the negative impact of milk fat by regulators and medical professionals. And when they want to get something done, they get it done. So they set up a major well-funded campaign to come up with proof that saturated fat does not cause heart disease. They assembled scientists who were sympathetic to the dairy industry, provided them funding, encouraged them to put out statements on milk fat and heart disease, and arranged to have them speak at scientific meetings. The latest guidelines from the American Heart Association and the American College of Cardiology recommend reducing trans fat intake, giving it their strongest A-grade level of evidence, and the same with reducing saturated fat intake. I don't feel the need to eat fruit. It doesn't doesn't, I don't have a craving for it. Are you going um, against your biological you know, Maybe two instinct servings is the most I'll eat in a day. Two some servings is most. None. Some of the citrus fruits, some of these things can be way overdone pretty quickly. And I'm not necessarily saying don't eat fruit. I'm just saying don't consider fruit the healthiest possible alternative to you know, bread and pasta and then replace <laughs> all of the calories you got from bread and pasta and cereal and whatever. Okay, I'm done with that. Let me know in the comments below what you think we need to do about people like this, about people who are so unconscious about how even their nutritional philosophy, let's just say it was right, which it's not. 
the impact that that has onto animals, onto the planet, onto the environment. Do we just say that these people are allowed to have free speech and spread these kind of lies, or should we like actively do something about this? I don't know the answer. I respect Joe Rogan in certain aspects. He's built an amazing platform with long form conversations with a diversity of perspectives. I mean, he had the Cowspiracy guys, then Mark Sisson within the same week. That's pretty cool, but it's undeniable that as a comedian and to for him to get views and to get listens, Joe Rogan is a bully, he is insensitive to vegans, he's an a lot of the time, he's freaking stoned in every single one of his podcasts. <laughs> I think you can be an accurate person of the media and have a diverse amount of perspectives, but not be such a d Okay, that is my very unspiritual rant for the day. Let me go do some ballet so I don't explode. <laughs>just about maybe 10 minutes at home to eat and now I'm off to teach ceramics. Never stop baby, never stop. Okay, I'm gonna do something awesome that you guys probably won't do yourselves in this class, but if you wanna look at it. So I'm doing something called chattering right now. <laughs> Oh, Whoa. sick. If any of you guys want this, I'll price it at $100 and not put it on the Etsy page if you send me an email. It's in the description box. All right. All right. 75, maybe. I'm putting you in my backpack till I get home because it's cold. watching a trending video on YouTube of Donald Trump getting tomatoes thrown at him at a protest, which I think is absolutely appropriate. Oh, a few hours have passed. Many works have been done. Let me show you what I got here. I got me some puffed corn cereal with apples, cinnamon, bananas under there, and the kicker, chocolate hazelnut milk. Oh, there's Izzy. Look what I got. Good night, baby. Oh, yeah. Good night. Much love. Dream extreme. F Joe Rogan. Just kidding. It's a free country. It's a free world. You can say what you want. Just, just stop spreading lies. <laughs>